G'day. Today I'm going to show you how quick, clean and easy it is to install earth wool insulation in the ceiling of your home. This super soft, super sustainable insulation makes a DIY project simple. It's going to make your house much more energy efficient and can save you buckets of money on your heating and cooling bills. Look, if you've ever worked with insulation in the past, then you know it can be a nasty, itchy exercise with traditional coloured bats. But with earth wool, it's much easier to handle. This stuff's amazing. It's made with advanced German technology from Knauf Insulation, using recycled glass bottles and sand, but without chemicals like formaldehyde or added colours. Knauf didn't choose the brown colour of earth wool, it just comes naturally. And unlike some other insulation products you might have heard about, it's great for absorbing sound. And hey, it doesn't catch on fire or conduct electricity. I can't think of another insulation product that has so many benefits. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's why governments around the world are increasing levels of insulation in both new homes and in renovations. <laughs> Where was I? Lastly, don't be fooled by the sleek, compact packaging of earth wool. There's, uh, there's a lot more in there than you think. When you open the pack, earth wool expands up to eight times, so it's much easier to transport and reduces handling time. In fact, this stuff has won awards all over the world for its compression packaging and environmental sustainability. But hang on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to do a bit of planning before we can do anything. Good planning saves time and money. Now the first thing you need to do is get up on the roof and have a good look around. But hang on, a couple of safety things first. The roof can be a very dangerous place. It's very hot in summer, it's dark, there's a lot of power cables up there. Right, the breakers. That's right, so best to turn off the power at the master breaker. Now, you're going to need a good torch. Up you go. These minor ones are great because it keeps your hands free while you're doing your work upstairs. And also a good rubber-soled shoes. Oh, and when you're on the rafters, be very careful when you're stepping around. Coming up. The first thing you're going to do is measure up the roof areas and work up a diagram, taking notes of where the light fixtures or other wiring bits are. Measure up in blocks so you can then calculate the total square metres required. Then measure the spacing of your ceiling joists. Earth wool is conveniently pre-cut at either 430 or 580 mil widths to fit common joist spacing. Okay, so we know the width of the joists and the area that we want to cover. The next thing to determine is how much product we're going to need and the R factor that we want to achieve. R factor? R factor. Well, it's actually R value. It's a standard used in building for thermal resistance. The higher the R value, the harder it is for the heating and cooling to escape, the more energy you'll save. R value. Yes, please, I'd like to save energy. So here's your options. If you haven't got any insulation in your roof, then even a small amount of earth wool between the joists will make a huge difference, even R2 or R3. If you've already got some insulation in your roof, but there's still a lot of joist height left, then you can install earth wool right on top of it. But for the ultimate in thermal efficiency and the ultimate in energy savings, add a topping layer perpendicular to the joists. Wow, it's like a giant, cosy blanket. Mm. Nice, huh? Mm. That's the way we do it at Knauf. Knauf? Knauf. You see, insulation between the joists works really well, but a lot of energy still escapes along the cracks and through the timbers themselves. That's called thermal bridging. So to overcome this, add the topping layer perpendicular to the joists. Now, if you jump online to the Knauf website, and go to the calculator, you can work out the total number of packs you'll need. If you're planning to do the topping layer over the joist, then just double it. You can also check the R value required for your location. This obviously changes depending on where you live. And remember, the thicker the insulation, the more energy you can save. Earth wool is available in both rolls and bats, and in R values from R1.5 up to R6 in different sizes of packaging. Rolls can be much faster to install between the joists and are great when making that topping layer. And the good news is the super compact packaging of earth wool makes it easy to pass up the access hole, so there's no need to unpack it first. Unless, of course, you've got a ridiculously small access hole, in which case you should measure it first so you know what you're in for. So, let's get installing. 
but best to do this with a buddy. You ready? Ready. Ooh. <laughs> ah, ah, not quite what we had in mind. Uh, oh, yeah. What you really need is sensible clothes, healthy lightweight shoes, gloves, eye protection. A torch or portable light, a retractable knife, a serrated bread knife with a holster, a tape measure, and if it's dusty, a face mask. And of course, the all-important installer stick. A broom handle is fine. And let's be sensible about this. Don't go up there if it's a stinking hot day. Wait for a cooler day or do it early in the morning. Take plenty of breaks and drink lots of water. Okay, so the power's off. There's nothing in the fridge to worry about. Let's do it. We'll check out the sketch we did earlier and familiarise ourselves with the location of the devices that we marked. Notice we've brought up some boards that we can kneel on. Wouldn't want to go through the roof. Best to cover three or four joists. First step is to open your earth wool packs. If it's bats, then just slice the packaging down the side and they'll spring out. And for rolls, just roll them out. You'll need to energise earth wool by giving it a bit of a shake and a bounce on its side. This helps it to expand to the thickness that's stated on the pack. Start furthest away from the access hole, working your way from the outside edges in. Squeeze the earth wool in nice and snug against the joists. And using your patented installer stick, push it into those hard to get spots. You need to take a lot of care when installing earth wool around downlights, extractor fans, chimney elements and any other electrical equipment. For sealing downlights, cut a semicircle from two end pieces and butt them together, leaving 200mm clearance from the fixture. The transformer is best placed on top of the insulation so it can disperse heat. Or alternatively, you can install some plastic covers. They just clip together, you place the transformer on top and then pack the insulation snugly around it. It's comforting to know that Earthwell will never catch on fire. Regardless, try not to cover any wiring as it may overheat and fail. So lift all cables and push the insulation under them. Use all of your offcuts to fill any voids or if there's any areas where the joist spacing is wider than the insulation. And make sure you've got a good snug fit wherever two ends butt together. Now, if you're going the whole hog and doing the topping layer, then use the wider 580mm rolls because it'll be quicker. You don't have to be too precious about this as you're just covering up everything below. But again, don't cover up any electrical cables. Now, would you take a look at that? Just beautiful. And you're done. So turn the power back on, and hopefully there's a couple of coldies on hand for you and your buddy to celebrate your achievements. Oh, well done, Madam Installer. Pleasure. And congratulations. So whether you're trying to stay cool in a warm climate or hot in a cold one, you can now relax and enjoy a more comfortable and energy efficient home Thanks to Earthwool and you. Exclusively from Canal. Canals. Earthwool Handy Rolls. Available only at Bunnings.